Hello, Richard Matthews here, and I want to do a quick video review of Inbox by Gmail. It's a new system that they put out, I think, last October. I've got an invite a couple of weeks ago, and I've been using it in my business for um, a couple of weeks. And, you know, I get over 100, 200 emails a day. And uh, I used to spend a lot of time um, with emails constantly. I keep the tab open for emails and would try and respond to things um, all the time. And since using Inbox and switching to their system, I have spent a lot of time in the hard to find nirvana of Inbox Zero. So I'm going to switch over to the screen share here if I can figure that out. And let's see, Google Hangouts, share that. You should be seeing my screen flipping all through here and then to my inbox. So I've got my inbox pulled up here and I went through and pulled out any uh, uh, personal emails so you wouldn't have to uh, see those, but just wanna show you sort of how the system works and what it allows me to do. So the first thing I wanna show you is over here on the left is I have, they have this thing called bundled in the inbox, right? And these are whole sets of emails that get bundled so you can deal with them at one time, which is genius. So for instance, if we come down here, um, I get a lot of promotions every day from different um, companies that I've signed up for, or different things that um, I, I wanna hear about. And those promotions, they would come in all throughout the day and I would get dinged and buzzed on my phone and they would basically interrupt my mindset and my workflow. Um, and what bundled in my inbox lets me do, if I click the little gear, is I have this set up for this particular one promos, for instance, to show only once a day at 7 a.m. So what happens is that once a day, all of the promos that I got for the last 24 hours will show up in my inbox and I can deal with them all at one time, which is really, really genius. And you can set this up individually for any different bundles. So I have bundles of all sorts of different things that I want to hear about um, on a once a day basis. And then um, what this has basically let me do is in my inbox, I only see emails on a daily basis from actual people. So I've let this fill up for two days just so I could show you how you could interact with this. And right now we're looking at on the screen, everything here, this represents 111 emails. And I'm gonna show you how we can go through 111 emails in like five minutes or less. Um, and now my email dealing with emails um, is a very, very quick activity and doesn't take a lot of mind power away from me. So here is a, just a for instance, this is uh, Dr. Ben Adkins. He is um, someone that I get, um, spend a lot of time reading his information and learning from, and I love his stuff. Um, but I'm one of his affiliates, it's one of his affiliate um, promotions, and I haven't filtered this yet. So if I wanna add a filter so that all of his stuff um, automatically gets taken care of, I can come in here and click the little gear, and I actually have a, Ben Adkins folder um, because I do a lot of marketing. So I follow a lot of newsletters from a lot of big marketers um, and I like to archive them so I can look through them and read them whenever I want. So click Ben Adkins, that's one email taken care of, right? So now I can come into my social tab and the social ones, I generally don't need to do much with these because they're just notifications from a lot of different places that um, I have social accounts. So. I will just look through and see if there's anything I need to take action on. If I don't need to take action on anything, you can just click the green checkbox and it all goes away. Now, same thing happens if my in my update system. I mean, these are all updates from softwares that I have um, or other you know different things that might send me an update. So, for instance, I can look through this and see if there's anything that um, I need to. Um, take action on and I can see I've got my living emails. This is also from Dr. Ben Adkins and it's in the wrong spot. So I can click the button and come down over here and say, hey, that needs to be filtered into another place and it'll move that and you can say, hey, I wanna do that uh, forever. Um, so I can look through all these and see if there's anything I need to take action on. And if there's nothing I need to take action on, you can click the button and it's all gone. Um, so I get emails from my Amazon business regularly. Again, most of these I don't need to take any action on. So I get um, just a report in the morning, I can look through these and see if I need to do anything um, like this uh, negative feedback one. I've already taken care of that, but if I hadn't, I could pin this to my uh, um, pin this to my desktop here. And when I click check, it will keep that negative feedback one up. So I know I need to take action on that and I can continue through my email. Um, and I've got this conversation from Alibaba, which I don't, um, shouldn't be in my inbox. And since it's the first time I've gotten that email, I want that to be filtered. 
um, and that needs to go to it's a promos thing and it's going to ask me do you always want to do this yes um, so now that'll always go into my promos thing and i won't have to deal with that in the future so same thing this was an email i've already taken care of from a um, individual person so i can check that off i got an email from my dad and i've already responded to that but if you hadn't you can just click it open and respond to it when you're done you can check it off and you don't have to deal with it anymore so then you get your promos these are all the promos that used to you know ding my inbox all the time and interrupt my flow of my day and i already checked through all these so i don't need to uh, do anything with them um, but i do want to show you one thing if i need to create a new filter like this is another um, marketing list that i am a member of and i want to archive all their stuff for the future. So I can click move to and create new. And I'm going to put Andy and Mike feel same, right? Do that and always do this. Confirm now I will always have their emails archived and I can check on them whenever I want. Um, and that was all the stuff in the promos that I wanted to deal with right now. Mark those off, they're all gone. Same thing, I can go through my Amazon stuff. I've already um, these are all the notifications from my Amazon system telling me that orders have shipped. I can click it open, read through the headlines, see if there's anything I need to take action on. If I do, I can pin them um, so I can work on that. Check that off. Go through my finance stuff. Um, again, you just open it up, read through the headlines, check them off when you're done. Um, email from my registration system. I might need to take an action on that, but I don't need to do anything with that until tomorrow. So I can click the timer thing and it'll come back and see me tomorrow. So I just can go through and check all these things. These are purchases that I've made or receipts. Generally, I will check them and open to see if there's anything that I need to, uh, to do um, with those. So like I got a courtesy notice, I need to update one of my domains. Um, so they're just letting me know they're gonna charge it tomorrow. So I can read through all my purchase receipts, check them off when I'm done. I get notifications from my bank. Um, and I believe I have the, these ones set to show up as they arrive. So I'll get, I'll get them, they don't show up once a day. But, um, you know, important emails you can set to show you when you see them. So I can just go through and check that off. There's another one. I've got some questions from one of my businesses. Um, again, I'm not going to need to take action on this today, but I will need to take action on it tomorrow. So I can set that for tomorrow. Um, an email from my wife um, about um, the script that she's doing. So we're going to um, be working on that this next week. So, hey, next week on Monday, I want to get reminded of that. And then this is another email that I haven't yet filtered yet from one of the, um, it's a finance newsletter. So I can take that and I say, hey, I want this to be dropped in my finance folder. And I always want that. And I can take that action one time and then inbox remembers that action for me the rest of the time. Um, so now that I've done that, I can archive it and I can get back to it anytime I need by clicking on the finance tab. And now all I'm left with in my inbox after going through more than a hundred emails in less than five minutes is just the one that I need to take action on. Um, so, and I already told you I took action on this, so I can come through and then whatever emails I have to take action on, I can take those actions and then come in and when I'm done with them, check them off. And then I get the wonderful sun that shows that I am now an inbox zero nirvana and I can leave this um, open on a tab during the day. And the only emails that are gonna show up in here are emails that I either haven't set up a rule for or that I have set to show up as they arrive because I think they're important to me. So some of the ones I have set to show up as they arrive are like emails about, um, you know, from my Amazon feedback, right? If I'm gonna get feedback from Amazon from one of my customers, I wanna take action on that immediately. So it shows, shows up straight away um, and I can take action on those. Webinars that I've signed up for show up as they arrive so I know I can get into um, into those immediately. Um, and if I need to, if I need to take a look at the stuff that I have snoozed, um, it's in there and I can get to, uh, you know, when the ones that I set up for next week, um, and your whole email archive, um, will show up in the done section. So you can get through, if you need to get back to anything, they'll all be in there. Um, so this is the, uh, all the, the same thing in the Gmail interface. Um, anyways, this is Google or inbox, um, by Google, and it has been a fantastic thing in my life um, because now email for me went from being something that interrupted my life all day um, from morning until night all the way until I stopped working um, and would throw off my train of thought and would get in the way of what I was doing to now being a five minute thing in the morning where I set up, hey, here's the ones I need to take action on. 
then I can take 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is, take all those actions that I need and then leave it open for the day. And the only things that I'm going to see come into my inbox are things that I need to take some sort of immediate action on. So those are the urgent and important things, right? And that's all that shows up in my inbox. If it is just um, important, but it's not urgent, it gets filtered, it'll show it to me tomorrow. Um, if it is, you know, in any of those other, you know, categories of emails, if I don't need to take immediate action on it, I don't see it the rest of the day. And I can take care of it at one time in the mor morning um, and basically makes my inbox workflow very easy. So hopefully that is a uh, um, good overview of inbox by Gmail um, and it helps you in your business.